don't know me, for those who know me, I'm still Leila Amadou. Okay. Okay. Tonight we're here to celebrate five of our elders in this community. Um, it's Women's History Month, and I just, two of them are not here yet. They are on their way. Um, they combined, the five combined elders' ages in the 451 years. Wow. 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 That's a lot of women's history. Yeah. <laughs> I counted it up. <laughs> oh, these lovely women are starting with Ethel Rom. Okay. Ethel. 89. I'm And I'm just as surprised as any. <laughs>
you know, most of the folks that work in public safety have a special place in their heart for the elderly. And please feel free to come in just to say hello, or if you want to talk to me in the back. I'm, I'm there uh, six days a week, Monday through Saturday. And you don't need an appointment. <laughs> so, and thank you and congratulations. And organizations in their lifetime. Margaret Mead once quoted, never doubt that a small group of committed citizens can change the world. Indeed, it is the only thing that has. You women who sit here tonight have changed the world, I'm sure. And we share a common bond, bond. Regardless of race, of culture, of economic status, each one of us has had our own personal struggles, whether it's been physical, mental, or spiritual. But we keep on keeping on and stay committed. I want to introduce you to my team of committed women and one gentleman, even though he's not here yet. And he is truly a gentleman. Mary Coleman, Elaine Belton, Cheryl Gwynn, and the other who have not here yet, Angela Samarin, and Lynn Strong and Shinazaki, who had to leave because she wasn't feeling well. We are constantly evolving, but as long as we are committed, we will persevere. Quoting Hillary Clinton, get organized, get involved, and don't let anyone tell you it can't be done. And here's Ms. Carissa and Ms. Bennett. Mm -hmm. And on that note, <laughs> Councilwoman for the Upper East Side, <laughs> and uh, that makes sense because I'm the only man on the Women's Issues Committee of the City Council. Oh, cool. uh, so uh, I, I know Lila because as soon as I started running, I said that I wanted to work with your organization. I still do. So the first thing I'd love to do with you after uh, this event, and I'm very grateful to be here, is I'd like to sponsor a uh, breast cancer screening van. Um, I, I love the doctor's presentation and the, uh, where healthcare is going and uh, the types of vans that we will have in the future, but for now we do have a breast cancer van. We can give you free uh, breast cancer screenings, and so I look forward to working very closely with you to make sure that uh, as, as the Roosevelt Island Women's Health Organization that we fight that type of cancer, and actually my, my father passed away in January from cancer, so anything we can do to stop cancer, I am on board for it. But there are other uh, things we can do for uh, women's health, and I'm looking forward to moving just beyond uh, uh, breast cancer to anything that might be something you're interested in fighting. I'm happy to do walks, happy to do talks, happy to fight however we can together as a community. Can everyone in back hear me, or do I need to speak up? Okay, perfect. Uh, so, my mother lives in the community. She lives on uh, 72nd Street uh, between 1st and New York. It's where I grew up with my grandparents. And uh, she's an incredibly uh, strong woman, but she also happens to have Parkinson's. So, uh, I've worked with her to make sure that she gets as much, many services as she can get so that she can be healthy and independent because that's what she wants is so that I can be healthy and independent so I can be here with you. Uh, and so, along those lines, uh, in my office, I have a lady named Debbie Lightbody. She's my director of constituent service, and she's a social worker. So if you need anything, if you're feeling hungry, and maybe you qualify for federal, state, or city programs that you may not even know about, or you need access to health care, or you name it, just pick up the phone. Say, uh, I saw Ben Kalos last night at Roosevelt Island Women's Health Organization. He said you'd give me a bunch of stuff for free. <laughs> and uh, Debbie will say, sounds like Ben. Sounds like my council member. Uh, tell me about your financial situation. Tell me about your family situation. Tell me about your housing situation. And she'll try to figure out 
if there's anything you might qualify for. I, I only saw one or two hands go up about people who have Medicaid. Uh, more of you may qualify for Medicaid than you think. Uh, there's so many different subsidies, so that's something I'd like to work very closely with all of you on. Um, I also want to acknowledge uh, the, that we have, are joined here by uh, the Fourth Estate. Does anyone know what the Fourth Estate is? Journalism. Journalism. So we have a journalist here. We have Rick O'Connor from the Roosevelt Islander. And uh, yeah, absolutely. He, he does this and he, he's one of the best sources of news on the island along with The Wire. And without those two sources of news, uh, I, I'm afraid we don't get the type of local coverage that we should get on uh, a neighborhood with so many thousands of people. But uh, I'm so grateful to have you here and please keep up the amazing work. So, uh, that being said, um, I wasn't invited to just give you quite an update on what we're up to because there's so much. Uh, so all of you should have gotten a newsletter in the mail. I'm here to ask uh, uh, Clarissa McCrelly, Naomi Silverman, Ethel Rome, who I've uh, known uh, throughout my campaign, and thank you for all of your help, Rosalind Fernandez, and uh, Ina Shinnery. If you guys want to come up, I'm going to read your resolution. And if you guys want, we can stand up. Uh, so we, we have this. We also have citations that we'll be giving out. But uh, too well, so we, we we're thinking of giving them to everyone, but sometimes uh, people don't have room on their walls. So if you guys want to stand up in front of the room with me, and I will uh, read the proclamation, and then I'll give out your citations, which will be a little bit easier to manage. If you want to come around and smile for everybody else in the room because you have earned it. In celebration of Women's History Month, Ben Kalos, that's me, council member of the 5th District, is proud to join Roosevelt Island Women, Women's Health Care Organization, that's you, in honoring a select group of women, our elders. And uh, that, that is a term that was chosen by you, not me. But uh, Claressa, uh, Naomi, Ethel, Rosalind, and Nina for inspiring us all with their character, commitment, and courage. Whereas Clarissa R. McCrelly, 85, was born in Greenville, South Carolina, and raised by her aunt and uncle, she grew up on a farm with no running water and no electricity, but abundant with love. She has called Roosevelt Island home since 1975, making her one of our community's pioneers. In addition to her own career in retail and health, she has excelled in her work as a generous volunteer. Over the years, she has fed homeless at Good Shepherd Church, led Bible study groups, and worked at the Island Thrift Store. She has also volunteered for the Red Cross, March of Dimes, Joint Disease Hospital, and the Kohler Goldwater Specialty Hospital, as well as PSIS 217. And whereas Naomi Silverman, 88, was born in Bay Ridge, Brooklyn, and has been a proud resident of Roosevelt Island since 1977. She has been extremely active in a wide range of areas and remains so today. A few previous endeavors include owning a manufacturing woodwork firm and playing piano for a musical group. For the last 35 years, she has served as the dedicated coordinator of a poetry group. Today, she is an active member of the biblical study group Kabara and also coordinates the River Cross 5th Anniversary Party, a celebration with more than 600 attendees. And whereas Ethel Rome was born in Massachusetts and grew up in New Hampshire during World War II, when men were drafted and women were needed to build the planes and other machines, she was assigned to an Air Force base where she supervised construction and building. Her unwavering commitment to learning led her to become a CEO of her own construction and engineering company. Ms. Rome has now been a Roosevelt Island residence for more than 25 years and a member of Roosevelt Island Residence Association for more than 12 years. She also belongs to the Garden Club and continues to have an infectious enthusiasm for exercise, good nutrition, and learning. <laughs> and whereas Rosalind Fernandez, 94, was born in Brooklyn and raised in Barbados. Sounds, sounds warm. At 19, she returned to the States and had a successful career in the insurance industry before retiring 
1982 to raise her granddaughter. Since 1976, she has been a champion for Roosevelt Island, whether working as a poll site coordinator. Thank you. I actually have oversight of the Board of Elections, and we're trying to clean that up. As a parishioner or as a volunteer at Kohler Goldwater Hospital for the last 32 years. In recent years, she has a new proud title, Devoted Great Grandmother. And Ina Shinnery, 94, was born in St. Thomas, U.S. Virgin Islands, and moved to New York in 1944. That's actually where I just got married in December at Megan's Bay. Uh, and she has been a resident of Roosevelt Island since 1989. Prior to retirement, she worked in numerous jobs, including 18 years in textiles. At her previous church, she excelled as a Sunday school teacher and Sunday school superintendent. Today, she continues to faithfully attend church on the island today and impresses all of the younger parishioners with her warmth and life experience. Now, therefore, uh, be it known that Ben Kalos, council member, the 5th district gratefully honors a Roosevelt Island elder. So here it is. I hope you guys can uh, decide where you are. And let's uh, smile for the Roosevelt Islander. You got it. Uh, can everyone say blogger? <laughs> say blogger. Thank you. Thank you very much. So, Layla, I'm going to ask you to hold the proclamation. And uh, I have citations. <coughs> so the citations come with a copy of what I just read. And uh, it's, a, it's a smaller version. Comes uh, here you go, and so it's got pretty gold lettering. And so, uh, I only silver. Clarissa McCurley. to a, 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 a sparsely attended uh, fundraiser that we did on intellectual property law at an incubator downtown. So uh, I, I'm glad to see her. Um, Rosalind Fernandez, I'm sorry that she isn't. And uh, last but not least, uh, Nina Shinnery. And I'm sorry if I butchered anybody else. Sincerely, Charlene and President Chief Executive Officer of Roosevelt Island, 
didn't grow up with having their grandmothers. You see, so the fact that our elders are still here and smiling and I'll be your grandmother. And, yeah, and, <laughs> thank you. <laughs> All kinds of stories, <laughs> right? And, and carrying on is like you know, it, it, it's 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 it's. It, it, it's Imagine it, having it's a, a granddaughter beautiful. like that. <laughs> Imagine having a granddaughter like you. Yeah, you would be my teacher because you yeah. are my teacher. You are an example of what I want to be when I reach 94 or 89 or 80 years old. How about laughing tomorrow? And <laughs> even tomorrow, you know, even tomorrow. And um, I wanted to speak a little bit about health because... This is what I specialize in, you know, I specialize in holistic health. And it's like, it, it all, it all, it all boils down to the diet. You know, I'm pretty sure in 1920s, we did not have the GMO foods that are currently uh, fulfilling our supermarkets. I'm pretty sure everything was all natural, everything was raw. So the immune system of these elders are completely different, you see completely different, which also perhaps may uh, may lead to why you guys are still standing strong. Because the diet is different. Children that's 10 years old or 11 years old or even <coughs> teenagers that's 18 years old are diabetics, yeah. right? High blood pressure, right, obese. That that, that, that that plays a part of aging because young teenagers are losing their hair. Look how full her hair is. Look how full her hair is. You see. So it's a change. It's, 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 completely, it's, it's completely a change in diet. And it's a blessing that you are still here breathing. And... Um, I'm just thankful to be here, and um, I thank you all for your time. Thank you. That's, that's what. <laughs> thank you. Just excuse me. Why don't you have flappy arms? You know, we used to call them Hadassa arms. <laughs> Maybe 30 years ago in California, I learned this trick. Uh, that's all I do is. Whatever muscle is uh, pointing to the sky is what's working. Just twirl your arms like this 30 times. Now, if you go like that, you're working this muscle. So that's not going to help with flabby arms. So that's another problem. Just, am I saying that right, Doc? Absolutely. Um, so do, whenever you think of it, if I'm walking down the hall or something, I'll do 20 this way, then I'll do 20 that way, then I'll do 20 this way. That's the whole secret. Do I have flabby hadassah arms? No. no. And that's all that I do. Uh, so I don't have to think about diet. I don't. Just twirl your arms, this muscle facing the sky. All right. <laughs> Keep on twirling. We have some other, other gifts for the ladies. Mary, do you want to... Um, treasurer of the Roosevelt Island Women's Hi. Health Organization, and it's a pleasure for me to be here to present you with these plaques from the Roosevelt Island Women's Health Organization. When I was in my 20s, I always said that I always wanted to live to be old, because my grandmother raised me, and I just got so much inspiration from her, and it gives me pleasure to be here, and I still say today, I'm only in my 60s, but I still want to live to be in my 90s and I do everything possible that I can and hopefully I will get there. What was I doing? Does that look like she So it gives me the pleasure to present this to Ethel, yes. Rome, yeah. and Paul. Yeah. 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 Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday.
over to me, uh, and I more or less helped her raise her granddaughter, uh, right. and she has the great great granddaughter. Yes, wow. I will accept this on behalf of Rosalind. Phenomenal woman, that's me. Yeah. 